Hello, Brian McCarthy here from Bold and Break, and we are going to be making a quick tip tutorial on how to make a rough and ready star field. It's not perfect, but it's a good gateway drug to get into making space projects through motion graphics. Let's have a look. So let's get started. Create a new composition, call this Starfield base 4k and change your, make sure your setting is set at 4k. You're going to need the size of your Starfield composition be bigger than the main composition where you'll be bringing in later. And you'll see why, because we want to be able to animate and scale up that Starfield. So in our base 4k layer, create a new solid, call this layer one. We want to add fractal noise to this, uh, change the fractal type to string and change the noise type to spline. Nothing's happening just yet. We need to play with these values until we get something that is more resemblant of our star field. Bring down your transform menu and set the scale to about five. What that is doing is it's using the fractal type we've created, that pattern, and it's scaling it down and mushing it. And this is quite uniform at the moment. So we want to kind of pull this apart to do that. Drop down your sub settings and put your influence to about 400. And you can start to see this star field emerge here. Make sure perspective offset is ticked just in case you, you want to go back and you want to make some settings to uh, the perspective of the fractal noise effect that you're using. Duplicate your layer one. Rename the bottom layer to just you know, to two there and change the blending mode to add. We want to change the opacity to do that. Press T and bring this down to about 50. Now we've done this so that our top layer is sitting over it with some opacity and we want to add some variance to our scene. To do this, we need to play with the contrast in layer two. Let's bring that up. That's looking good so far. Maybe bring it back down to 400. And you'll start to see some stars are look like they're further away. And you've got to start to get these clusters, which is quite nice. You can even play with the scale a little bit. But for now, let's leave it and rotation. So you can really add some variance by toying with these settings. Now, we want to make a new composition, but we want to make this composition smaller than 4K. And make sure that is at HD. Go back to your 4K and bring in your 4K base and make this a 3D layer. This is so we can use our layer, make it seem like we're coming in and out of the scene like this and add some depth to our scene. So let's keyframe it here. And that should be okay. And you'll start to see a slight movement here. It's quite nice. Duplicate this layer again and set the blending mode to add. And without using any of the Adobe After Effects presets, you already start to get a little bit of a glow and shimmer. Again, toy with the, with the opacity here. Maybe mess with the scale a little bit. Maybe bring this down to 73. Again, you're getting just that little bit more variance by playing with very some very simple settings. You can even rotate your bottom layer. But you might get a color off there. Bring this up. And the glistening is happening because the blending modes are clashing against each other. So without any animation or keyframes or scripting, you don't have to add a wiggle or a flash. You get automatic glistening there, which is quite nice because you get these layers hitting off each other and you get a, kind of an automatic blend mode uh, that is creating a glisten or shine. Uh, let's pre-compose this again. Control Shift C and call this main. And so now we kind of have a really good base to play with uh, and go from here. So what we're going to do, create an adjustment layer, control alt y, uh, rename this adjustment layer to post effects. We're going to use an effect called 
optics compensation. This effect is usually used to get rid of distortion in camera lenses, but we're going to do the opposite. We're going to create distortion to, to reverse the effect if a camera lens has kind of a, a sphere of eyes lens and you get a little bit of distortion, you might want to correct that. But we want to create something real, so we need to create a little bit of nuance to pull off the realism. Take reverse lens distortion and you get kind of this warped effect, which would happen with a camera. Let's maybe not have it that warped. It just adds a, a little bit of extra depth to your scene in terms of aesthetic. And you get these stars kind of pulling off and warping. Now, it's quite dull at the moment. Be helpful to get some glow in there now. Let's use that. So we want to bring down our radius to about three. Bring our intensity to about two. Maybe with the threshold a bit. And the nice thing about gl adding glow to this is again you, you get just more variance to your scene. Maybe bring it down to 30. And the glow that you put on will add to the glistening and the stars shining. So you don't want too much intensity there. So you want to bring it down to 0.5. Save our scene. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching. This is just to keep in the format of the quick tips tutorial. I am, however, going to be doing an extended version of this star field, which will be uploaded soon. Please subscribe to know when that video is out. If you hold on till the end of the video, there's a preview of an upcoming tutorial of using the star field with the lava planet that we're going to combine this tutorial with. Thank you for watching and goodbye.